Hi. Hi guys and assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my new blog post, blog post channel. And in this blog post, I'm going to discuss about the Power BI report server. So let's start. So when we talk about the Power BI report server, basically we talk about like Power BI report server is an on-premises report server that is used to host Power BI reports. Uh, the reports hosted on the on-premises report server are basically displayed to the users via a web portal. And you can also host uh, various paginated reports, mobile reports, and KPIs on the report server because it is built upon SQL Server Reporting Service, SSRS architecture. You can access and view all the type of reports on report server using a web browser, mobile devices, or via email. So what are the basic advantages that we can actually have uh, after having a Power BI report server? There are basically many advantages of using an on-premises report server to host the Power BI reports. Uh, it is compatible with the Power BI service and you can actually easy, e easily integrate it with your existing reporting, uh, reporting services. Also, on-premises report server is preferred by many organizations with respect to the security point of view. Also, organizations find it safer to host important reports on a secure on-premises solutions rather than on the cloud so let us talk about some basic features which are actually provided by the power bi report service and since we know that if report server runs on ssrs framework and so we can call it a subset of ssrs and being a subset it has some key features and important roles to play we have uh, some fee, few feature, uh, sorry, some key features below. So the first feature is like the report server host Power BI reports on premises and any person can share reports and collaborate with other persons or the users by using the on-premises report server. Also, it has the unique capability to deploy and use mobile reports, paginated reports and various KPIs. Another feature is like it can render custom visualizations user actually host users hosting their Power BI reports on this on-premises server. Uh, on-premises server gets and edit 100 customer uh, custom visuals to default ones. Another feature is like users can connect to this from their Power BI mobile. Uh, they can access reports from the report server daily. Presently, the report server is supported by iOS, Android, Windows, mobile platforms. Also, from the on-premises report server, users can access and interact with reports on a web platform. They can use and apply actions like uh, cross-filtering, tooltip, slicers, data exploration, and many things. Also, users can export data from reports hosted on report server to various formats, especially CSV format of, of file. So another thing, like we need to discuss about the main components of the Power BI report server. So when we talk about Power BI uh, report server, basic components. So there are basically several important components that are related to the report servers. And the first one that actually comes in uh, in the list is the web portal. Basically, the web portal is to display various reports that are actually hosted on the Power BI report server. A user can access the web portal from any latest browser, Edge, um, Chrome, um, uh, or name Chrome or name any browser like Firefox. Uh, the web portal has all the reports and KPIs loaded on the report server. You can perform several activities using the web portal such as on-demand report access, 
uh, take a subscription from published reports, apply custom brandings to the web portal and schedule reports processing. And there is a varied content on the web portal such as Power BI reports, mobile reports, paginated reports, KPI and Excel workbooks. So basically these different reports types are arranged in the same order in a traditional folder hierarchy. Reports are grouped by report types as I have mentioned earlier. Uh, you can also access shared data sets and shared data sources via separate folders in the portal. Next one is that the Power BI reports, the most important part of the entire concept in the Power BI is the Power BI reports. Power BI reports are basically multi-page multi informative files representing our data model through visualizations. Power BI desktop has lots of visualization types, we, which we will discuss in our future blocks, which you can actually use to create the reports. You can have as many as pages in a report with as many as visualizations that you would like to use. You can actually create reports on the Power BI desktop and it is basically optimized for the report server. Later, you can actually pick up these reports and publish uh, these reports by using the web portal for others to view and use. Business users and other types of users can extract essential knowledge and insights from these reports. So basically there are two types of reports which are uh, required to be discussed over here. The first one is the paginated reports. And basically when we talk about the paginated reports, it's, it's basically an uh, paginated report is an organized document style page to page report. The extension used for a paginated file is basically .rdl. Paginated reports are served, served as page documents where you can actually expand the document vertically or horizontally to view the complete data. Such reports are basically pixel perfect with a fixed layout. They can be the best options when you want to print a report from a PDF or a Word file. Another report is basically mobile reports. Uh, and these reports are basically hosted on the server and these are shared by the web portal. And uh, these are used on mobile. They are like, uh, just like Power BI reports, but adaptable to the screen of the mobile devices that you are using to view. So what we, what do we need uh, to install the Power BI report server? So first of all, you can actually have Windows 10, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, or Windows Server 2012, or Windows Server 2012 R2, Windows Server 2016, as mentioned in the slide. So you can have any Windows operating system above Windows, Windows 8 and above. Uh, and uh, after that, you should have a .NET Framework 4.5.2 and above. And again, you will need SQL Server database engine, which is actually, which should be 2008 or later. This is for storing a report server database. SQL Server Analysis Service, uh, you, you'll require like 2012 uh, store uh, with service pack one. CU4 or later, it is needed for your live analysis services of the data sources that you, that will be used by the Power BI server, so report server. So this is uh, pretty much about the Power BI report server. I hope so. You have understood the concept. Thank you.